Hi, and welcome to the first episode of Thinking with James. If you want to play the drinking game, then that's fine. That's all new, guys. Me, this isn't enough. Um, unfortunately, this is just some random YouTuber that I just found, and you know what? I figured, eh, let's have some fun with this guy. My name's James, and today we're going to talk about feminism. I'm going to give you a simple overview of what feminism is and what it is to me, and some of the reasons why we still need it. The reason... You know, I can tell you're wearing hipster glasses, and a hipster explaining why they need feminism uh, is going to get ugly. The reason I'm making this video is that I'm concerned by the misogyny and hate I get from some of the guys I know in my life. How can someone be under the effect of misogyny if they're male? Unless you identify as female, then I have to ask why aren't you in a dress? As well as I've been disturbed by some of the Twitter and Instagram posts I've seen with women rejecting feminism. And why should women must join this cult which tells women that they, they are victims while telling men they are monsters by default? If this is empowerment to women, then it should be illegal for someone to be a feminist. To start, let's introduce feminism. What is feminism? Feminism is a multidisciplinary approach to fighting power imbalances between sexes and genders. Well, at the very least, you're not using the dictionary definition of feminism, but is it really any better? What's that one guy named that put it clearly? I think it goes around the lines like, Oh, I'm a segrenish, but I don't hate black people. I actually changed the definition so that way it fits the narrative. You know, it believes in equality, so become a segrenish today! Some key aspects involve working to increase equality, obviously, expanding human choice, eliminating gender stratification, and ending sexual violence and promoting sexual freedom. Adding thought bubbles is pointless. But once again, I've said this a thousand times, I judge a movement based on actions, not beliefs. Without delving too deep into the history of feminism, I will briefly highlight some important contributions. We don't need a history lesson, Sherlock, and just as you know, this is first wave feminism and second wave feminism accomplishments, not third wave. Instead, we'll talk about what feminism is to me. How could this go wrong? I have my own definition of feminism! Thus I want people to identify as feminists because apparently I own the meaning of feminism! To me, feminism is not centered around women. Women are a key aspect of the pie, but they are not its entirety. Feminism literal meaning is the advocacy of women's rights in political, economical, or social equality. You're just changing the definition so that way it doesn't seem like it puts women in a higher position than men or any other gender at all. I'm using your own holy bible against you, and what's your holy bible? The freaking dictionary! Feminism is centered around the disenfranchised, disadvantaged, disabled, and otherwise oppressed, ignored, or forgotten groups. Feminism is about striving for equality and not about affirmative action. It is about restoring or providing opportunity that should have been there in the first place. You've forgotten the part about how feminists like to silence any form of constructive criticism. But, but feminism is just the belief in equality! Not granting special privileges. Well, I do have a couple of links that you might want to take a look, but, you know, but, but, feminism is just for equality! Equality, I say! Let's go over a few reasons that require the continued existence of strong feminism. The glass ceiling has to do with women not being able to climb the work hierarchy as they would want to. Because apparently we don't have any female CEOs or females in the court system or females working in top paying fields, nor do we have females attempting to become president. And it may also have to do with unequal pay. Oh my god, a fucking wage gap myth again! Links in the description to prove you wrong! This one's kind of iffy because it's hard, I would imagine, to measure. Pornography is an issue because it objectifies women. What?! Apparently porn just objectifies women and not men, cause you know, men can't apparently get objectified at all! What the hell is wrong with you? Everyone gets objectified, not just women. And even then, they are aware that the person is a human being! Perhaps there needs to be a book that says HOW TO BE HUMAN 101! I believe it overly sexualizes women and renders them nothing more than tools for sexual pleasure. Yo, 
Yeah, because it's not like they're being paid to do their jobs or anything. Or they like making pornography and they like having sex. So you know what? We should just tell women what really empowers them. Speak it on your mind on feminism, then hiding behind your fans playing the victim card so that way they can defend you is empowerment. But making porn because apparently you like it or you get paid to do so is not empowerment. You're basically in shackled in chains owned by Jumbo the fucking hut and he forces you to suck on his slug dick all day long. Oh god. God! Not only that, but it teaches our young that women are not to be respected. Because apparently that what will happen if you show porn to a teenager! He will get his morality from watching porn! And then all he wants to do is after watching porn is to fuck a woman because apparently that's what porn teaches you to do. Just fuck the living hell of the nearest woman you can find and treat her as if she's just an inanimate fucking object. My God, I knew you were anti-human, but the fact that you believe that teenagers will get their morality from porn not only shows that you don't understand how pornography works, but also show on how the human brain works. You have failed the test of being human. And that is amazing that someone fails something so simple. Congratulations. There's also the issue of rape, domestic violence, prostitution, harassment, either sexual, physical, whatever. You would probably say nothing if this was happening towards men. Why are women not allowed to be topless where men are? Because it turns me on! Actually, there is a legit point here, you know. Women should go out topless. Not only that, but even if they are allowed, why is it still stigmatized? Why are women not allowed to breastfeed in public? As far as I'm concerned, you can breastfeed in most states. The problem is public opinion, but you can't change someone's opinion. As it, why is it so goddamn important for women to breastfeed in public if most can get a baby bottle from the store? It's not that hard! And where it is allowed, why is it stigmatized as well? Although not widely academically acknowledged, there exists something called the fourth wave. We are embracing sexuality, female or otherwise, fighting harassment and discrimination online, on the street, and at the workplace. We're fighting assault, sexual or otherwise. We're fighting harmful media portrayals. Create laws that prevent men from spreading their legs in a subway station. Trying to bend the word bossy. Preventing MRAs from having meetings. Giving men no control or say about being a parent or not. Only the mother is allowed to decide on whether or not he will be the father. And therefore forcing the father to pay the ultimate price if she decides to keep the baby. Do you not see what's going on here? No, of course not. You consider porn to give morality to teenagers! That include body shaming, example fat and not being beautiful, and then a continued misogyny, racism, sexism, homophobia, and other sexual phobias and hate. Look at Bruce slash Caitlyn Jenner. In sum, I believe that feminism is fighting for the rights of women and anyone in a systemic disadvantaged position. But we all know this is just a little crap. I just dissected everything up to this point. And they should have their opportunities restored. Women and others should not have to live in fear. Women are people, just as men, just as slaves of days past, just as the terrorists and freedom fighters of today. Then why is it that feminists like yourself ignore issues that men face? Like for example, men make the majority of the homeless, yet there is only about 10% of the homeless shelters for men. Or men being the highest of suicide. None of this is being addressed by feminists. We need to talk about right and wrong, not about man and woman, and not about black and white. Okay, let's talk about what's wrong with feminism. Or actually, it's easy to talk about what's right with feminism. Not about Islam, Christianity, Judaism, whatever. Feminism is about reevaluating our broken logic, our broken dogma, and in general, our broken systems. I believe that our deep economic, social, political, religious, whatever else problems are here to stay. This is unless we, as the buzzword goes, decide to have a paradigm shift. We need to think like women. Okay, turn in your balls, please. You will not be needing them. You have officially lost your right to call yourself a man. No. We need to think like smart people. Something that we haven't been doing, and something that we really, really need to do. Yes, humanity has been acting stupid by allowing feminists to really walk all over them. 
by coming up with stupid ideologies that really pisses me the fuck off. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.